What's up, everyone? Got back from watching the Sonic movie. The wait is over. I have seen it. So what do I think about it? I'm happy to say that it's pretty good and I enjoyed it. This movie is a Sonic movie. It's proud to be one, it wants to be one, and it wants you to enjoy it. I love the attitude and spirit of this movie. It doesn't shy away from the source material. This is Sonic. Sonic's personality, his attitude, it's here. For an entry movie, this does its job pretty well. Introducing you to Sonic, what he's about, what he can do, and his effect on other people. Especially, you know, Eggman, Robotnik. And I love the performances of Ben Schwartz and Jim Carrey in this movie. Ben knocks it out of the park as Sonic. He can be funny, he can be emotional, he can be heroic. Ben is a perfect Sonic. He really is. And Jim Carrey as the egotistical, showboaty Robotnik. Like, every time he talks to someone, he acts like he's talking down to them. I have achieved more than you ever will. He does that to everyone he meets. Like, deep down, he's crying. And uh, Jim Carrey said that in an interview once with the movie. Uh, I think it was a panel. A little girl was asking him, why is Robotnik so angry? And he's going, well, he's lonely. He tries to possess everything. And uh, you can see a bit of that in the movie when he's always yelling at people like he's hiding something. And Jim Carrey nailed it. I want to see more of him as Eggman. I love the lighting and the colors in this movie, especially when Sonic and Eggman are going at it. You see a red streak chasing a blue streak, and you know what that is. The way the lighting is used to signify the contrast between Sonic and Eggman. You know, Sonic with this blue surge of energy, and Eggman with the red jet fuel coming from his Eggmobile. And uh, the red off his goggles. Like, there's a part in the movie where, he's look where the reflection of Sonic is bouncing off the reflection on his goggles, and it looks good! This movie is colorful and pleasing to the eye. The supporting characters are, well, uh, they're not bad. It's just that, you know, hit and miss. I liked James Marsden as Tom, aka Donut Lord, Sonic's nickname for him. He does an alright job of being Sonic's traveling buddy and, you know, his friend. A few of the supporting characters, I get the feeling that their purpose is to be funny and it's way too on the nose. This other sheriff, if you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about. Eh, he was just uh, there to be funny and it didn't work for me. I'm not getting into any spoilers. Uh, there is stuff in here that does make Sonic emotional, which I've wanted to see in the games for a long time. Speaking of, this movie delivers what the games have been lacking. Sonic interacting with humans, Sonic being emotional. And I missed Sonic being in real life locations. You got him in San Francisco. You got him in the desert in the Great Wall of China. We haven't seen stuff like that since Unleashed, and I miss it. I miss Sonic in real-life locations. There are references, which is expected. And references are nice. For me, they're not the main attraction. They're more like a bonus, and they are treated like bonuses. The movie doesn't stop to say, hey, remember this? The pacing is quick, which is appropriate. The movie never feels like it's dragging. There's always there's this constant energy to it, and I really like that. The movie never lost me. I don't know what effect this will have on the franchise. It's probably positive. Uh, hold on, let me get rid of this. Uh, this thing popped up on my screen. I guess uh, it will have a positive effect because people, you know, are enjoying the movie. It's gotten good reviews, and I think it'll make money. The theater I was in was packed. For video game movies, I can't see that far ahead. Maybe it's a good thing. Last year, Detective Pikachu. This year, Sonic. So video game movies are on a roll so far. Oh, and, uh... When I was watching it, there were these little kids sitting right next to me, and the part where Jim Carrey is dancing, this kid was raving right next to me. He was moving his arms like up and down, and like he was having time, he was having the time of his life with this. And the final confrontation between Sonic and Eggman, these kids were raving. They were so stoked on what's gonna happen, and seeing little kids excited to see Sonic, that made me happy. That made my day. This movie is. Getting the best possible outcome, especially since the way it started. Like, talk about a Cinderella story. So, uh, I enjoy the movie. I encourage you to watch it and see for yourself. I'm not saying, like, this is the best video game movie ever. It's way too soon to say that. As of now, as the movie just came out, I enjoyed it. And I recommend you watch it. Especially if you're a Sonic fan. I'm not saying you will enjoy it. It all depends. 
really depends on your taste, but as a Sonic fan, I am happy with what I watched. And I wouldn't mind seeing another. Given how packed the movie was, maybe this will make money and we'll get a sequel. So thanks for listening. Till next time.